Hi everyone, this is Marta Huero's Palettes. So today I wanna to share with you what things you should consider when ordering palettes. All right, so the first one is the dimension of a palette. What's the size? So when we talk about palettes, we usually go the runner or the stringer by the deck board. So for example here, this is my stringer. The stringer is usually the thicker part of the palette by the deck board. Some people call it the slats. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna measure it out just so we're on the same page. This is my stringer and this is a 15. And these are my deck boards here. And this is also 15. So the dimension for my palette here is 15 because of the stringer by 15 due to the deck board. How many stringers you want on your palette? So once again, the stringer is the thicker part to your palette here. You see this one is the thicker one. For this palette, we have one, two runners. Sometimes you want three stringers, four stringers. It all depends on the product you want. Often people ask for three stringers, but now if you want a heavier duty palette, and don't have much concerns of how these are held by the forklift, like your forklift has flexibility, you could go with four stringers, some people even do five stringers, but the standard is three stringers. So remember, our boards are the ones up here and the ones on the bottom. All right, sometimes we call these slats, so the question here to ask ourselves is how many we want on the top and how many we want on the bottom. So the important thing to keep here in mind is you could have seven top boards, you have two, three bottom boards, but let me give you some suggestions. If you want a heavy duty palette, you could have a solid top deck board. You can have all the top full of deck boards. Usually on the bottom, on the back side, most palettes have three of them. Our standard palette of 48 by 40 consists of seven top deck boards and five bottom boards. But you should know this, and a lot of times we don't hear this, but you could actually live with three bottom boards on the bottom. Standard is five on the bottom, but if you remove two from the bottom, you're saving yourselves about 60 cents because new boards start at 30 cents. So just a little trick, you should keep that in mind. How thick you want your deck boards. So most palettes have half inch thickness on deck boards. Like this one is half an inch. Sometimes you want it to hold on heavier containers over like 3,000 pounds, like those gallons of liquid, or you want some heavy equipment on top of it, well then you're talking about either adding more deck boards to your palette or you want thicker boards. So sometimes we go five and eight. Sometimes we could use one inch deck board. What special packaging do you want when you want your palettes delivered? Sometimes people want their palettes to be delivered in a straight stack and don't want any shifting. Keep in mind that when they're transported, sometimes palettes move to the left or the right. Well, in order to avoid that, you could have them wrapped. There's some options we offer, for example, at Widow's Palettes, and you could ask your vendors about this too, is wrapping them with stretch fill. So palettes are wrapped, the whole stack is wrapped. Another option, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's polyester strap. The palette is basically strapped from the stringer right in the middle. Other packaging option is sometimes people want these painted as label to identify who's the vendor because sometimes there's companies that have multiple vendors in their facilities. So painting them is one option. Some people want the palettes to be have stencils on it. For example, I have companies that ask me to have 48 by 40 stenciled. Some of them want the name of their company stenciled. So these are many options and alternatives you have. Now let's go to point six. Point six is, okay, so when you have these palettes delivered to you, do you want them to be stacked 15 high? Do you want them 20 high? Or do you want them 22 high? Or do you even want 23 high? 
So just so you know, let's talk about the difference. So sometimes there's facilities or warehouses that are lower on the ceiling. So I would suggest the pallets to be stacked 15 high. Uh, usually I recommend 20 for most ceilings that are just normal because unloading a trailer and loading it on a 20 high stack, that means 20 pallets in a stack, it'll just be easier to unload and load. Now 22 is good if you wanna fit more pallets if you're transporting them from a longer place because you save yourself on the shipping cost. But when it comes to unloading, pallets that are stacked 22, they're stacked up 22, it's a little bit difficult, it takes longer. But that's an alternative, and these are things you should consider when ordering your pallets. The seventh point, when it comes to ordering pallets, did you know that you can have a trailer spotted at your facility? Companies like Widow's Pallets could drop trailers at your facility to save you warehouse space. And what's great is we could drop two or three if you need. You unload the pallets and then you can fill it back with broken pallets and we give credit for those. So that's an exciting thing because not only do you save space, you also get money for broken pallets that you that are taking up space in your warehouse. Alrighty, so these are our seven points. I hope you learned and you enjoyed your short time with me. All of these are summarized in an attachment to this video. So please, if you would like a quote from Muero's Palace, I'll be happy to shoot one out. We have a pricing model that gives a prize in 10 seconds. So that's super exciting. That's a big accomplishment we made last year. So please, fill out that questionnaire and send it to our email, wedopalettes1 at gmail.com. It's right also in this, in this video. So if you have any questions, please email us or give me a call. The number is below this, this video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and let's keep the love for palettes.